Hey! Today, we are going to learn how to randomly select from a group of objects. What is this good for? Let's say we have six items in our game and two different zones of enemies, one for level 10 and another for level 20. We're going to want enemies in zone 1 to randomly drop one of three different items. And the enemies in zone 2 should be dropping random items from the other three. This way, we can give items that are found in the second group higher stats. So, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we will be building. And we can see here two separated sets of enemies, and each one has their own set of drops. And hopping in the code, we're starting out with a tiled sprite that is dragged across the bottom and set to platformer and an object for our Hubert who is set to platformer object default controls turned off and the max speed turned to 175 then in the code we just have always simulate pressing right for Hubert next we'll be adding the six droppable items and I'll be using the fantasy icons asset packet and I'll just be loading in six individual objects the first three will be armors, and the second three will be weapons. And the first thing we'll do is create a group to hold all of our items. I'll call mine items, and we can double click that, and go ahead and add every one of those six items we just added. Doing this allows us a generic way to talk about any one of our items at any time, and we'll be using this in the events. Next up, we'll be adding a global array. And in the top left, we'll open up our project manager, click on global variables, and add variable. And like I said, it'll be an array. And we'll go ahead and name this group one. And in group one, we'll add three child nodes, one for each one of the armors. Then we'll make sure to change each one of these child nodes to a string. And inside the value, we're going to put the name of each one of our armors. Then we can go ahead and repeat this for group 2, which will be all of our weapons. And once we're all set up, we can have our lower level group of enemies calling group 1, and our higher level group of enemies calling group 2. So let's go ahead and add those two sets of enemies. And I'll be using the dungeon assets where Hubert lives, and I'll go ahead and use the imp and the big demon. Let's go ahead and give those both platformer character with default turned off. This way they stand on the platform, but don't move around. And just drag a few on the screen, and set their size. Now we just need to make it so when Hubert hits an imp, it calls group 1, and when Hubert hits the big demon, it calls group 2. So from here, we'll go ahead and add two more global variables. One to hold our random value, and the second will hold the item's name. The random value will be called random value, and be set to a number. And the other will be called chosen item, and be set to a string. Now in our event sheet, we'll go ahead and make the condition, which will be on Hubert colliding with an imp. In here, we'll want to make sure we delete the imp, and this will make it happen only one time. And then in the sub-event, here I like to use add other and repeat, and then you can put something in here like repeat in range of 0 to 2, and this will allow it to give you 0, 1, or 2 items. And then we'll have three actions to add. One, we'll want to set our global variable random value, and we'll set this to a random of our global variable child count group one minus one and this is just grabbing the amount of children in our first group of items which right now is three and subtracting one since arrays are zero based we want a random number including zero one or two and this will grab one of our three random items and we do it this way so if we want to add more items to group one we don't have to change any code. We just have to add the name to the array. Our next action will change the text of our global variable chosen item, and we'll want to set that to global variable string of group one, and inside of brackets, 
global variable random value. And this just means we'll be looking at our group one items and going to the index of that random value we just rolled. And we want to return that as a string. So that's just going to grab that name that we put in whatever random value spot we rolled on the group one items. In our final action, we'll be using create an object from its name. And we want to search items. So that can be any item that we have in our group of objects called items. And we want to create the object named chosen item, which is our global string. And we'll do that at the position of our imp x and imp y. And if we're trying to make the items look a bit more realistic, we can go ahead and give them the platform character behavior and remove the default. Additionally, instead of just spawning them on imp x, we can go ahead and throw a little bit of randomness in there. Something like imp x minus 10 plus random 20. And that'll shift them up to 10 left or right of the imp's x position. And to finish this up, you just need an event for your big demons, which you can get by just copy pasting your imp event and changing all of the imps to big demon. And instead of grabbing group one items, you want group two items. And of course you want to change the position that the items spawn from imp to big demon minus 10 plus random 20 and big demon y. And that should do it for everything you need in order to select randomly from a group. As always, questions, comments, concerns down below. If you end up making a project with this and want to share it with me, feel free to join my Discord, which I'll put a link for down in the description. And if you want to be nice, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Otherwise, peace.